Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited to watch a movie with you guys today. I've just been watching some good movies lately and it's making me happy. And I'm excited about this one. So we did a big crime slash detective poll on Patreon. There was two rounds of 10 movies each and then we took the top four into a final round. And this one was so close. It ended up being 31% of the vote went for Untouchables, which I'm watching tonight, and 30% to The Usual Suspects, which I will watch next. Also a lot of love for LA Confidential was on there. Zodiac, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I hope to watch. I really enjoy this genre, I think. I haven't watched a ton, but I watched Silence of the Lambs, which was maybe like my fa favorite of like the scary movies because of that detective aspect. The Fugitive, I really enjoyed. I recently watched the Jack Ryan TV series on Prime, not as a reaction, just on my own, and just loved that. So I think this is gonna be fun. And I know my man Kevin Costner is in it, a young Kevin Costner. So thank you for letting this win. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's the bad guy or the good guy or what the story is even about, but I kind of like going in super blind, so it's such a surprise. So I'm really excited. I think this is from the 80s. I hope there's a little bit of a love story in it. You know, crime investigation detectives also deserve love. We shall see. If you want to see full-length reactions and vote on these polls that I'm talking about, as well as get early access, check out my Patreon here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. Okay, you guys are the very best. Let's watch The Untouchable. Already got that detective vibe. Oh, Robert De Niro as Al Capone. Sean Connery. <laughs> I do remember someone said he was in this. Who is Al Capone? That name sounds so familiar. We had a class pet in junior high named Owl Capone, but I don't know who Al Capone is. <laughs> it was an owl. Ooh, wardrobe by Armani. You don't see that in the beginning credits usually. For some reason I thought maybe he was like a baseball coach. But why would they be investigating a baseball coach? Or maybe Al Capone's the famous cop and he's the investigator. We'll see. Cassie, let the movie play. My goodness. Mmm, that looks nice. 1930. Whoa, okay. Prohibition has transformed Chicago into a city at war. It is the time of Al Capone. 1930, we're going way back. Prohibition, so alcohol is illegal. Okay, and in Chicago. So many movies are in Chicago. Newspaper asked why, since you are in effect the mayor of Chicago, you've not simply been appointed to that position. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of things in life, we laugh because it's funny and we laugh because it's true. I'm responding to the will of the people. The people are gonna drink, you know that, I know. <laughs> what is this man? And what of your so reputation young. that you control your business through violence? Is that right? We used to say you can get further with a kind word and a gun than you can with just a kind word. <laughs> sometimes the reputation follows you. There is violence in Chicago, but not by me. And I'll tell you why, because it's not good business. Whew. I know Robert De Niro is very famous. I really only know him from Meet the Parents. So it's just like common knowledge that he like smuggles alcohol to people. And even though it's technically illegal, everyone's just kind of like, I'm not buying any. Don't worry about it, Pops. We won't come back. And how's everyone at your house today? Your mama will? She has a little cold. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, mister! Mister, you forgot to... Oh my gosh. Did they just blow that up because he wouldn't buy alcohol? He saw the little girl in there and still set the briefcase. 10 year old girl slain as beer war. Oh my heavens, that's. I heard it on the radio. Now it's time to go to work. I love you, Elliot. Let me see him already. Elliot Ness, special agent of the Treasury Department. Special eh? agent. Thank you, Chief. Oh my heavens. 
the Treasury has inaugurated a special program to deal with the flow of illegal liquor and the violence which it creates. What do you think about prohibition, Mr. Ness? It is the law of the land. So is the prohibition just for, like, the individual sale of alcohol? Like, could bars sell it or could just, like, no one? Oh. I know that many of you take a drink, but now we must be pure and I want you to stop. It's against the law, gentlemen. So drinking at all is against the law. A very large shipment of Canadian whiskey has arrived in Chicago. Canadian. So I hope that you've signed on for some action, gentlemen, because you're going to get it. The liquor cases are marked with a red maple leaf. Yes, sir. Was it prohibition in Canada, too? Part of the sandwich? I'm very proud of you. A little note in his life. Nice to be married, huh? Oh, that looks like a vehicle from Batman. <laughs> Maple Leaf. Federal officer. You want to take your picture? Take it now. Uh oh. You ready? Was this a setup? <laughs> oh no! They knew it. Oh, poor butterfly. It's not his fault. It's probably the informant's fault. You want to throw your garbage? Throw it in a goddamn trash basket. Sam. Do you have more important things to do? Yeah, but I'm not doing them right now. Why are you packing the gun? I'm a treasury officer. I don't know what a treasury right. officer is. I thought they count Just money. Remember what we talked about now. <laughs> What the hell kind of police you have in this gun? So you just turned your back on an armed man. You're a treasury officer. Yeah, how do you know that? I just told you I was. Who would claim to be that? Who was not? What's your name and unit? It's right here. You got a beef? How did you know I had a gun? What do you want? A free lesson in police work? No. Are you okay, pal? I had a rough day on the job. Are you going home now? I was about to. Well then, you just fulfilled the first rule of law enforcement. <laughs> I do love the way he talks. Both Make of sure them. Make sure when your shift is over, you go home alive. Here endeth the lesson. <laughs> Please tell me this is not where Al Capone is, living large. I thought I didn't like him on that first scene, but now, after I know he killed the little girl. <sighs> oh, wow. Breakfast in bed. Who does he think he is? <laughs> And then we bust you. He's so handsome. I don't like that he's been made a fool of. Bully. I'm gonna put that on his door. I came here to thank you. It was my little girl that got killed with that bomb. Oh my gosh. Because I know that you have children too, and that this is real for you. I know that you will put a stop to this. Does he have children? What do you want? I'd like, I'd like to talk there. to you. What I need is a small group yes. of men, handpicked, starting with you. Why should I? Because you're a good cop. How do you know that? You told me. <laughs> I'm such a good cop. How come I'm walking the beat then at my age? You want to tell me? Well, maybe I'm that one good cop in the bad town. I believe that. What do you I'm say, Sean? I'm asking Sean? you for help. I wish I'd met you 10 years and 20 pounds ago. You look great. I just think it got more important to me to stay alive. Thank you, Nora. Oh, come on. That's good, isn't it? Let's start up. Yeah, let me open the door. Oh, they do have kids. The bear is chasing that cat all around. Him. Mr. Ness, Oscar Wallace. I've been assigned here by the Washington Bureau. Excuse me? You're a little in the dark here, but any ideas you may have? Well, actually, yes, sir, I do. Oh, do you? He has not filed a return since 1926. A return? An income tax return. Get him on the income tax. What do you do with the bureau, Mr. Lewis? Oh, I'm an accountant. Please. Isn't that how they got OJ? From his taxes or something? Parking ticket? Okay. Let's go. These walls are yours. You said you wanted to know how to get the Capone. What are you prepared to do? Everything within the law. And then what are you prepared to do? They won't give up the fight. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way. And that's how you get the bomb. So... I have sworn to put this man away with any and all legal means at my disposal, and I will do so. He's very by-the-book kind of guy, isn't he? 
He's in. Do you know what a blood oath is, Mr. Ness? Because you just took one. How do you think Capone knew about your raid? Somebody on the cops told me. Welcome to Chicago. Who can you trust? Well, nobody. If I can trust nobody, where are we going to get help? If you're afraid of getting a rotten apple, don't go to the barrel. Get it off the tree. So a cop told Capone they were coming for the raid. He moved all his stuff. <gasps> We've got a mole. We need a recruit for extended duty. Who is consistently the best shot of this class? Williamson and Stone. Call them out for me, will you? Are either of the men married? No. I don't want any married men. Why? Why do you want to join a force? Oh, to protect and... Please don't search for the yearbook answer. Just tell me what you think. What I think? Yeah. I... You could help. The you can help. Force. Thank you. I know the next chief of police. George Stone. That's your name? What was it before you changed it? Giuseppe Petri. That's all you need, one thieving wop on the team. You're a lying member of a no-good race. It's much better than you, you stinking Irish pig. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I like him too. <laughs> you just joined the Treasury Department, son. Surveillance is at the main door, Lieutenant. Yeah, we don't trust you, Lieutenant. Are you ready to go to work? Where are we going? On a liquor race. You need another man. Yes. Well, show some irregular. You carry a badge? Yes. You carry a gun. <laughs> We're taking the accountant. What the hell are you dressed for? Halloween? Shut up. I'm working. <laughs> Shut up. Suck it, Trebek. <laughs> what are we doing here? Liquor raid. How does he know so much? Everybody knows where the booze is. The problem is who wants to cross the pond. You better be damn sure. He seems pretty sure. If you walk through this door now, there's no turning back. You understand? Yes, I do. Here we go, boys. Federal officers, nobody move. This is a raid. What are you doing here? Federal officers, sir. You got a warrant. Here's my warrant. Oh. <laughs> what do you think it now? Better or worse? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Got him with the heathen. That is my call box key. And that is St. Jude. He's a paid and saved of a lost cause. And policeman. Everybody needs a friend. That was a good day, right? It's okay if I get a picture of you and your man. But not for publication, just for us. Who's in? Life goes on. Ah. <laughs> a man become preeminent. He's expected to have enthusiasms. What am I? Baseball. <laughs> Fancy ball for criminals? A man stands alone at a plate. This is the time for what? For individual achievement. But in the field, part of a team. Teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork, friends. I get nowhere unless the team wins. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. gives parents the wrong impression of what it's like to put a child to bed. <laughs> the movies did that. I gotta go downstairs, some work to do for tomorrow. You still got some energy? Why don't you come up and brush my hair? I came up to congratulate you. Such a lovely day. What's that? <laughs> come in here, please. You fellas are untouchable, is that the thing? When you talk a pawn, everyone can be gone. Then I'll see you in hell. Hey, nice house. Little girl's having a birthday, huh? Oh no. Yes. Nice to have a family. See that nothing happens to you. <gasps> They're threatening his family? Oh no. They need to get a hotel. Witness protection, right? Where's the baby? She's upstairs. <gasps> oh, my heart just dropped so fast when that bed was empty. <laughs> Drive him to the station. So let you know where to go when you get there. Yes, sir. Ask Mom Butterfly, Dad. Okay. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to start taking the battle to him. I want to hurt Capone. Well, then, a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> There's going to be a huge international shipment coming through. Well, what are we doing standing here, then? How do you come by this information? That's the second rule of police work. If you want to keep a secret, don't tell the boss. <laughs> You know he's making over $3 million a year? If we can establish any payments to him at all, we can prosecute him for income tax evasion. Try a murder for not paying his taxes? Oh, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Go to sleep, Oscar. Oh my gosh. 
That's what planes were like? Looks very heavy and questionable in the air. All right, I'm in the Wild West now. Actually. The meet is to take place just over the border on the American side. We will await their signal. Not taking them by surprise from the rear. That surprise is half the battle. <laughs> the surprise is half the battle. Let's think about what is all the battle. Let's take the fight to them, gentlemen. Right. Are these Canadian officers? Mounties, perhaps? Take it easy. Don't wait for it to happen. Don't even want it to happen. Just watch what does happen. He's so right, wise. That I am. You're a good cop, just happy. You're gonna do just fine. Are you cold? You can stamp your feet. Keep you warm. You learn something. It's like a year's walk in the beach. <laughs> like Standing in the rain. Just eating a giant sausage. <laughs> With a knife. Uh... <laughs> I had an idea. Shh, shh. Here we go. Oh, that makes me dizzy. Oh, here's the shipment. If you have to find, shoot to kill. So this is one of his high-ranking guys, Al Capone's. Does Crazy. everyone just know how to ride a horse? The Canadians will not show until I flash the badge. They were Canadians. So you and I will take the map. Move it, Georgie! What the hell? You're gonna die of something. They went too early? Come on, Mounties. They're gonna be stuck on the bridge. <laughs> the accountant, he's in for this. Look at that dismount. Okay. No, no! Stone! I'm okay! He's okay. Shoulder wound, right? <laughs> He's so brave. <sighs> Had to make sure. Drop the gun. You so fucked. <laughs> What is this, a game? Oh. Well, Stone's gonna be all right. Oh, phew. I got the fellow with the satchel. They had to kill him. Would you rather it was you? No, I wouldn't. Well, then you've done your duty. Go home and sleep well tonight. I want him to be my grandpa. I want you to write down the names of your contacts. Why don't you kiss my ass? Hey, Elliot. You fired on federal officers. You've broken the Elliot. law and you can be tough in Leavenworth. Is that what you uh, want? Elliot. What? He's like a little busy. Look at this. You've got a lot of money changing hands in this book. Police precincts? You got a heading here, circuit court? I want you to tell us which one of these entries is Al Capone. In hell. In hell? Well, this man could put Capone behind oh, bars. Two guys just Oh. Yeah, I don't think he's talking. You're gonna talk, huh? Eh? Out. Shut up, bitch! Enough out of you. Come on, you. I need your help me to translate this book. I'm gonna count to three. Oh. One. Oh my gosh. He's Two. really to scare him. <gasps> that was smart. Now, ask him what you want to know. Gruesome, but smart. You're not to prove of your methods. Yeah? Well, you're not from Chicago. <laughs> I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ass. He's so serious. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. Like what? Like what his name is. When did this happen? I thought we liked John. And I suppose his middle name will be long. It'll be Edgar. <laughs> It'll be J. Edgar. God, you're beautiful. Since when was she pregnant? You should have seen us last night. Where I wanted to be. I know. Are you making progress? Mrs. Ness, I think your husband just became the man who got Al Capone. They're very sweet. A subpoena was issued for Alphonse Capone for the crime of evading federal income tax. Here we go. The car's in the app. Anybody knocks on the door? Come out shooting. I got it. You got it? I got it. It's much more diverting than accounting. <laughs> He's got a cute smile. Much more diverting. <laughs> okay, we'll see you tonight. All the way down and no stops. <gasps> that was the guy from the car. No, 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 no. Did he know that was gonna happen? Oh no, he... Oh 
Oh my gosh! Is the captain in on this? <sighs> oh boy. We gotta take him down. We gotta take him down. Sometimes it's better not to get involved. <laughs> Jimmy, get out of the city for a while. You know what I mean? This is where Capone is. Remember your family. My friend was killed today. I don't care. Now he does. Come on, you son of a bitch. You talk to me like that in front of my son. F you and your family. Not this way. You got nothing. You yes, got they do. nothing. Nothing. Got the ledger. If you were a man, you would have done it now. Yo, punk. That was risky. I understand. What? Well, what's happened? Tomorrow morning, the DA's going to announce that he's dropping the case. <gasps> we have Wallace's files and the ledger. There's a time when I think you have to cut your losses. Yes. Who is it? No, he, he didn't have a family. It's his wife. Do it however you want. Love you, too. Oh, I'm so, so, so scared they're going to hurt his family. Is that it? I'm sorry. You hurt me. Are we done? No! Yes, I think we're done. It does appear so to Mr. Wallace. Well, he's dead. And what are you prepared to do now? What would yeah. you have me do? I have taken this as far as it can go. You can't give up that easy. He's a murderer. What did your wife want? She wanted to know if I was all right. It's nice being married, eh? Yes. She's sitting in some room surrounded by people she doesn't know, going over kitchen color charts or something. Some part of the world still cares what color the kitchen is. <gasps> Whoa. I want you to do one more thing. Get back to the DA and stall it. And stall him with what? Just do as I say. I think I know how to find this guy. Al says we gotta get out of town until he can fix the subpoena thing. Why don't they go after the people that they paid off? Like the police they paid off. Can we step outside? All right, but I got nothing to say to you. I just risked my life for you. I need to find that book. This is his source. Man, you Get out of your mind! For ten years I can't eat my food for the that's going on and say that I'm a cop! Ah, I need to know where this guy is! And I'm gonna rat you out for all the that I know that you've done in your life! I'm gonna turn you off! This is what a dead man talking to me, Jimmy. it! <gasps> Are they friends or not? I don't understand! You tell me! Are you going to the hospital or the f***ing morgue? Yeah, Stone. Give me now. Tell him I know what pain is and to meet at my place right away. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful, guys. What about that court thing? Somebody messes with me, I'm gonna mess with him. <laughs> Somebody steals from me, I'm gonna say you stole. I talked to him for spitting on a sidewalk. <laughs> Why do they like him? He's a murderer, he kills babies. I have done nothing, so what do they do? Doctor up some income tax, which they got no case. We'll see about that, Mr. Al Capone. You got an all-out price fight? One guy's left standing, and that's how you know who won. Wow, I need them to take him down. No, 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 no. He needs to get out of there. But Ness is on his way to his house, right? Oh my heavens. Oh my gosh. Does he know? Oh, he still doesn't know someone's in his house? What's he cranky? Oh, he know. Isn't that just like a wop? Brings a knife to a gunfight. Go on, get your ass out of here! Ah! No! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Take him down! And his killers and his whole organization. I loved him. That guy. I loved him. I hate his face. I hate his face so much. Everybody stay back right now. <sighs> Oh my gosh! 
He's gonna try and tell him. The bookkeeper, he's on this train. What are you prepared? <gasps> the bookkeeper's no good to us dead. Come on. Please, I need good to win this. Oh, he must feel just so angry and guilty and sad and scared and... Always with the crying babies. What's happening? That's not the bookkeeper. That's not him. That's not him. He's the guy with the glasses, right? Is he in that? Oh, he wants to go help her. Thank you so much. Are you alright? Pick it up. Pick it up like this. It's so kind of you to help me. Is that him? Isn't this fun? Oh my gosh, get the baby out of the train station. Let me take him from here. There he is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The baby! Oh my gosh. No! Do something! Oh my gosh. I need him. Oh my gosh. Where's Stone? Where's Stone? Oh, he's in the baby. Holy crap. Holy crap. Come on, let's get out of here. Stay there, he's all right. I'm walking out with the bookkeeper or else he dies. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got nothing. He's got the best shot. George. You got five seconds to make up your mind. You got him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> One. Take him. <laughs> Oh, he did that while holding a baby carriage, laying down from a weird angle. He's the man. Cash disbursement to all levels of city officials, members of the police, and to Alphonse Capone. Yes. That's correct. He's going down. Can't kill everyone now, can you, mister? In a three-year period, I personally dispersed monies. Monies? In excess of one and a third million dollars. Please let this be over. Please let him go down. Why is he smiling? We're nailing the lid on his glove and he's smiling. Oh, the hitman. Son of a bitch is wearing a gun in court. He's carrying a gun. When you get him up, I'll lead you out. Yes, sir. Can we speak to you a minute, please? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone be safe. Okay, empty all your pockets. He's who killed both of his friends. Please extend to the bear of Mr. Frank Needy, William Thompson, mayor of the city of Chicago. Yeah, Signs right. That she'll have to give it back. But that man does not go back into that courtroom. Excuse me? I can write on the back of a business card? And that's kosher? To whom am I concerned? This woman is allowed to steal whatever she wants. Mayor of Utah. Like, what? 1634 scene. You know, I used to have a friend who lived there. Why can't this just be over and the good guys win ever? Why was Capone smiling? We still don't know the answer to that, do we? He's got the high ground. He looks like Pee Wee Herman. I think this is a weird music choice for this kind of scene, but that's okay. It's still very intense. What are you gonna do? He's letting him go? What? 
face will haunt my nightmares. Don't just stand there. Harass me. They're gonna burn you, buddy. I'm gonna come see you burn, you son of a bitch, because you killed my friend. He died like a pig. <gasps> what did you say? Your friend died screaming like a stuck Irish pig. <sighs> Oh my gosh. <sighs> but what about Capone? Mr. Ness, you doing okay? I think you better see this. That's the jury list, Mr. Ness. They've been bribed. Get out of Nitty's cult. Where is Nitty? He's in the car. The jury's been bribed? Has the judge been bribed? This constitutes no evidence. <gasps> it has no provenance. Would you excuse us? How much is he paying you? What happened in there? Bailiff, I want you to go next door to Judge Hoffman's court. I want you to bring that jury in here and take this jury to his court. You did it. Your Honor, I object. Nice try. What did you tell him? I told him his name was in the ledger, too. You are not in the ledger. Wait a second, wait a second, what is this? Your Honor. We are out of order. Do something with me. We'd like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. Can we put him in handcuffs like right now before he leaves though? Never stop fighting till the fight is done. What do you say? Here ended the lesson. Now go home to your babies. My concern is that Capone is so powerful even in prison that he's going to somehow hire another hitman. Capone said it's still 11 years. Okay. Only 11 years. So much violence. He could not have done it without him. No, either of them. This is a true story. Now what? He goes back to be a treasurer? Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, George. I want to uh, thank you for this. No, thank you. You're going to be a great, great officer, George. I think he'll be wanting you to have that. He don't want a cop to have. And that's any comment for the record. The man who put out the phone on the spot. That just happened to be there when the wheel went round. They say they're going to repeal prohibition. What will you do then? I think I'll have a drink. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Can't be botanist. <sighs> okay, wow. That was thrilling and. I don't know how much of it is true, except I want it to be. I loved Malone. Oh my gosh. And Wallace. Is that his name? Wallace? The accountant? That broke my heart. The only redemption is that good triumphed evil in the end and Capone went down. I hope he paid for his crimes. I hope they found evidence after of his murders and he was in there forever. Oh my gosh. Robert De Niro really did like it's like he was like this creep who pretended like the tears at the opera. I don't believe that. And then he like smashed that guy's head. Oh my gosh. That was gross. I am forever grateful that they did nothing to Kevin Costner's family. I was going to lose it if that happened. I did love him in this very much. And I liked how at the beginning he was so like by the book, like Boy Scout-ish. And then Malone kind of taught him that if you are gonna fight this guy, you gotta fight him. You know, and you gotta be willing to go there. And he did. And in the end, he still said in, when he was talking to that judge, he's like, and I stand by what I've done. I broke every rule that I thought I had to hold, but I stand by it. And I do too. I, I'm okay with him. He's... <laughs> A plus still in my book. Okay, loved it, so much fun. The only thing I would have wanted more of is like the actual investigative portion instead of like the paying off the cops and everything. I wanted to see like clues lead to, and that's like a different kind of investigation film too. But anyways, really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching along with me. Have a wonderful day, night, weekend, whenever this goes up. Okay. <gasps> 
see you guys soon